Hey y'all, welcome back to the Rainbow Library. Today I'm doing kind of a like vlog style video and actually it's probably gonna take me longer than just today to do it. Um, but I have decided that I want to catalog my Harlequin romance collection. Um, and as you can see behind me, uh, I have quite a few Harlequins. So it has taken me a while. Uh, I've gotten through almost two rows on my shelf here. Uh, and that took about, about an hour for each row. Uh, I know there are lots of great apps and websites out there that you can use for cataloging your collection. I've decided to use this little notebook here and I will show you a little bit about what that looks like so far. So opening to the first page here, I've got a little sample entry. This is the information that I wanted to include for each book. Of course, the author, title, and the year it was published, uh, the line or the imprint, as well as if it is part of a mini series. And then I also wanted to include just a couple of buzzwords, subjects, tropes. I've also got some abbreviations here for the different Harlequin imprints slash lines. And then we've also got a couple common tropes here, um, baby bombshell and no series um, for ones that are not part of a mini series. So for example here, we've got A Song of Secrets by J.C. Lee, which was published in 2022 this year. It is from the Desire line and it is also the first book in the Hana Trio series. And then I've also put down these two little buzzwords here, uh, music and second chance. As of right now, this entire row here is finished, which is mostly presents, but also has some desires and plays and a temptation on there as well. Uh, and I've also gotten through the majority of this row, which is mostly Kamani and desire. Uh, I think I have like, I think like this chunk here left. Uh, and then, of course, I still have my special edition and medical row, a couple Carino ones and special edition ones. Uh, I've also got uh, my Teresa Beharry collection and my Brenda Jackson collection. And then on the top shelf, uh, these are the ones that I want to read sooner rather than later. I've only cataloged these three on the top here so far. And we have my Love Inspired ones. And then further down here behind my uh, Halloween books is the um, intrigue and then also a couple of nocturnes here. Definitely got my work cut out for me. Okay, so I have finished uh, these two bottom rows as well as this row here and also uh, these four on the end which are part of um, imprints or lines that I don't have any other books in. And now we are moving on to the top two rows. So this is kind of like my favorite author's row. So I'm going to start here with my Brenda Jackson pile. And then I will do my Teresa Bihari pile, Rochelle O'Lears, and then I've got a couple of um, LGBT Harlequins on the end here. Uh, these are from Karina Press, and then this one is from the special edition line. It is Tuesday morning, and I have finally finished my cataloging project. Uh, I had counted up the numbers. I have just under 200 Harlequin books, which are all now cataloged in this little notebook here. I was also able to catch up on a lot of podcasts and listen to a lot of new music during that time because uh, it took several hours. Uh, what I will do going forward is when I, uh, when I purchase new Harlequin books, I will just add them in in the order that I buy them because uh, I think that's just the easiest way to keep up with it in notebook form. But with that, I am going to go ahead and wrap up the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to comment down below. I will read it and reply to it as, as long as it's not anything like spam or trolly or rude. Um, but thank you for watching and have a great day.